murdered. We're out here because he was murdered by the BART police. So we have to remember that before we get too excited about other issues. He was murdered by the BART police, like Shalim Tindall and all the others that we know of have been uh, murdered by the police. And so this cannot just be a celebration. It has to be something more. We can't just celebrate the murder of a state murder of a young brother. We have to say what, what else is involved in this? Where is Tony Peroni, which is something I always ask Uncle Bobby for the last five years. He's walking around somewhere. We don't even know where he is. Who is Tony Peroni? He is the other killer of Oscar. Held him down. Waited until that goop Mesley shot him in the back. So let's not pretend our work is finished because it's not, is it? We got more work to do. And why are we still looking at Nancy O'Malley as the district attorney of Alameda County? She should have been gone. She let that venue get changed to L.A. knowing that if they had been in Northern California, we'd have had that courtroom packed. And knowing that there would have been a big difference between getting a little slap on the hand and getting a life sentence. So we have work to do. This is an opportunity for this community to make a recommitment to our people. It's time to honor, honor Oscar, not just remember him, celebrate him as a man and as an individual who gave everything there was, a martyr to our movement, but maintaining our struggle for our whole people. That's how we honor Oscar Grant. We have to end police brutality and murder of black and all other oppressed people. That's our job. We're not here to just stand around and say, yes, we did a good job, and here I am today, standing in this hot sun, it's definitely hot, end mass incarceration, organize our communities, demand and build housing, demand and build businesses and wealth and health care and decent schools and all the other things we know that keep us oppressed because we are and remain an oppressed people. And if we don't recognize that, then we'll think this really is just a celebration. Go home and be all right with everything. Uh, America will be all right with us. We have to recommit ourselves because we have lost our way. We have bought into a government idea that community violence, you know what we mean by community violence? We mean black men are like savages shooting each other. Black women having a lot of babies out of wedlock. And we need to fix our people. That's what we start meaning. There's nothing wrong with our people. There's something wrong with the scheme of things, starting with the most violent aspect in the black community, which is the police. We got to know who is the violence, who are the perpetrators of violence. And what is the violence? It's our poverty. We don't own this BART station. We have a, a beautiful, beautiful mural here. We made this happen. We can make a lot more happen when we stay together, organize, unite, and organize. We are so lost that we right now have not even noticed that Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., 50-some years after his assassination by this government, is being maligned by a white racist to this very day. Is everybody aware of this? Or are you just looking at Facebook at your cousin's wedding? Because we got to stop that and be paying attention, become conscious. Dr. King is being maligned even as we speak. The last great leader of the black community, Minister Louis Farrakhan, is being maligned by a little guy named Mark Zuckerberg who called himself shutting down and silencing a Farrakhan by taking away his Facebook page. Where are we on that? We don't care. We're just on Facebook, happy as a lark. Why are we happy? Let's make some noise. We've sent out stuff about it. Look it up. Demand that Zuckerberg go from his own stupid company. If we admire a Farrakhan, if we respect the Panthers, then we know the Panther Party was not here to talk about one or two murders, but all the murders, but we had another agenda. We stood up to the police. Now that's the part nobody likes. Everybody gets nervous when I said, what did we do? We stood up. We didn't stand around talking to each other, looking at our makeup, talking about what gender identity we have. We talked about what we're going to do about the police. Now, some people only understand power. And some people think power only grows out of the barrel of the gun. They have to be addressed in a serious way. 
This is stuff that we get scared about. We start backing up. We start finding ways. But if we love Oscar, and if we celebrate this day, then we have to do something more. I'm finished in a minute. We're looking for comfort in America when America has always oppressed us. We're just looking for a good time, a happy day, let everything be smooth for us. And we're all right with America as is. We complain about Donald Trump, but that's all. We didn't complain about Obama. We loved Obama. What did he do? I have no idea. So I want to use this opportunity to say that we need to look at each other today and regroup and decide we're going to recommit ourselves to the struggle for the liberation of black people, of all oppressed people, until we in fact are free, knowing that we have the power of the people to not just do this, but to take on the struggle for the complete freedom and liberation of our people, all power to the people.